everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel where I like to talk all things beauty and fragrance. So, uh, I am completely au natural right now. I literally am just out of the shower, if you can tell. My hair is not even brushed yet. I have a dress on, you just can't see. Uh, a lot of people have commented or asked me questions regarding my Orbe video uh, in comparison to other products or what I thought of this product or what I thought of that product. I wanted to do a quick video just kind of um, start to finish how I would do my hair. I do want to preface this with I am not and have never been very good at hairstyling. I know product and what would work for different types of hair. Uh, styling has never been my forte by a long shot. Uh, I actually, for the Sephora sale, I wanted to get the Dyson um, styler so bad, but they sold out too quick. Uh, anyway, next Sephora sale. You're mine, Dyson. You're mine. I wanted to come straight out of the shower so you could see these products in action. I'm going to link that other Orbe video to this so that you can um, watch that if you want more of a history of Orbe, a more uh, 411 on how, how the brand came to be, a little bit of the history, and then some of my favorite, favorite products. But this is just going to be oops, a basic review of products. I just got water. Shoot. So I just took a shower. I used the Orbe uh, Volume Line Shampoo and Conditioner uh, for Magnificent Volume, which is my favorite of uh, the shampoo and conditioner sets. I have also tried their two-in-one. I've tried their um, shampoo for Serene Scalp. Uh, I am also an avid, avid fan of their Bright Blonde Line to keep your uh, blonde hair highlights or gray from uh, for getting that uh, preventing your hair from getting that brassiness that occurs uh, sometimes I've used the shampoo for beautiful color all I have right now is the little tester of it but it's the burgundy one um, and then the gold lust as well I am also a huge fan of this line I will say if you have fine hair like mine it is slightly weighing so something to consider. But again, I think the benefits outweigh the cons. And just the, the tenacity and strength that your hair seems to have afterwards, my opinion. You're just gonna get ready with me, do a general rundown and a basic review of products while we get ready. So my go-to product, probably my all-time favorite one in the Orbe line is the Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. You want to spray this from your, uh, it says to spray from mid shaft to ends. However, I spray it all over because it also works as a fabulous detangler. So let's do that real quick. I'm just gonna put my hair up in a quick bun so it doesn't start to turn into hay while we're talking. All right, so let's go through my other Orbe products before we do the rest of my hair. Soft Lacquer Heat Styling Spray, great for protecting your hair from uh, heat styling. Like I said, this Royal Blowout Spray uh, acts as a great detangler. It also is a heat styling spray and also going to give you that sleek, smooth effect if you do a blowout. The heat styling spray is uh, I use for like if I'm going to be curling my hair or uh, straightening my hair to uh, spray it on prior to the extra heat. Next product, the Curl Gloss Hydration and Hold. I kind of bought this as a whim. I kind of wish that I didn't. Uh, I have wavy hair, it, which if you scrunch it with the diffuser, uh, usually turns out kind of beachy wave type deal. Uh, I thought this would help to really amplify those beachy curls and hold them. Uh, it didn't work well for me. I think it was a bit heavy. Uh, maybe I didn't use it right or I need to get have more practice with it, but I just felt like it was a little too heavy, a little bit too crunchy. Um, wasn't really the effect I was going for. If you have thicker hair, if you have more naturally curly hair, uh, probably would be a great product for you. 
I actually should try it on my daughter because she's getting those Shirley Temple spirals, so maybe we'll do that. Next, the Cote de Jure Hair Refresher. This basically uh, is going to refresh the hair and neutralize those odors and cut static. So let's say you went out, your hair's smelling a bit funky from the night before, you just give it a bit one over and refresh your hair and off you go. I love the smell of Orbe products, as I've said in the past, so this just kind of gives like a basic hair perfume for me. Uh, Feather Balm Weightless Styler I might use today, so we'll hold off on that for now. And the last styling, uh, Orbe Cream for Style. I will use this for added definition. You can use wet or dry on your hair, so uh, sometimes I use it as a styling cream and cocktail it with the Feather Balm Styler. Uh, just for added definition. Other times, like uh, if I curl my hair or something, I'll put it on the ends just to give it kind of a bit more oomph. I also just picked up the Sun, the Bright Blonde Sun Lightning Mist, which I've used a couple times. I think that it is working to give some highlights. I wanna uh, use it a few more times before I give a definite review on this baby. The other one I got is the Bright Blonde Essential Priming Serum which is, um, again, supposed to help eliminate that brassiness and replenish moisture, protecting your hair for heat styling. As you know, if you treat your hair, uh, lighten your hair, anything, it's taking the pigment out of it. The pigment helps to strengthen the hair. So by removing that pigment, you're basically weakening your hair shaft. Uh, so this is going to help give you that added step of protection. I have yet to use it, so again, like the other, I'm going to hold off on giving any comments on this sucker yet. So back to my hairstyling. All right, so we've relocated to my daughter's bathroom where I have my little extra storage. Before we get into doing my hair, uh, we've got the Orbe Impermeable Anti-Humidity Spray. Obviously a great product for if you live in a humid climate, it's just going to help you maintain your hairstyle without getting the effects of humidity such as frizziness, um, limpness, etc. Alright, next the dry texturizing spray. I need a new one. This is nearly gone, but this is just going to um, give you a little bit more texture, a little bit more body after you've done your hair. Spray it like you would a dry shampoo. I also have the dry shampoo. Uh, and I'm not finding it, so I'll have, I have no idea where that went. Again, you're gonna shake and then spray where you want volume. A great alternative to dry shampoo, so there's that. And now the products we're actually gonna use. So I'm gonna use the Grandiose Hair Plumpy Mousse. Okay, so now that my hair is dried, for the most part, I actually didn't dry it all the way. Uh, try to prevent as much heat damage as I can. I'm going to take my uh, weightless styler, my featherweight weightless styler, do a couple pumps. Sometimes I'll cocktail this with, uh, um, with like Kerastase's uh, chronologist uh, hair oil. Sometimes I'll cocktail it with more of just a styling cream um, or more of a molding paste. And how you would do that, you just apply a couple pumps and then mix it with whatever you want to mix it with. And then I just kind of go through. Again, like I said, I am by no means a hair connoisseur or hairstylist of any sort. So this is just how... Uh, random um, does her hair. So there you go. Uh, those are my basic reviews of, I also remembered I at one point had the Orbe hairspray. Uh, to be honest, it was okay. It gave more flexible hold. It uh, My hair really doesn't hold a curl. So if I'm gonna wear it like this, where it's just kind of a loose, uh, 
straight finish, then that hairspray worked great uh, for just a, like I said, uh, flexible hold. If I was actually going to do like curls or um, any sort of actual hairspray, I'd probably want something a bit thicker or a bit stronger. Uh, Orbe might make something in that nature. Maybe the maybe I got the wrong hairspray, so who knows. Uh, but Orbe is a definite, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful product. I obviously have invested in it a lot, uh, but I will say, you know, where you can cut costs is good. So, uh, you know, maybe that's an area where you want to cut cost, in which case I use uh, Sebastian Shaper a lot. It's a great hairspray. It's not so expensive. Um, they've got a multitude of different uh, holds or finishes that you could, that you could choose from. So uh, again, oh, side note, I also have Orbe's body wash and body cream. Um, the body wash is, you have to obviously like the, the Cote de Jure fragrance that is used in his products. Uh, it is a strong perfume. It lasts. Uh, the body cream definitely lasts. The body cream is actually a little bit too strong for me. So if you're scent sensitive, something to consider. Um, it's very luxurious though. It's very moisturizing. Um, it's a great, all of their products are top notch. If you're looking for a specific product or wondering a review on any of Orbe's particular products. If any of you guys have tried any of Orbe's products, I would love to hear your experience with them and what you've tried. Maybe there's a few more that I need to pick up. Uh, who knows? I'd love, I'd love, love, love to hear you guys' comments on it. So please uh, comment below and let me know. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that so you can uh, stay abreast of all my content that I publish. Again, my name is Catherine. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being loyal to my channel and um, I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.